electronic and simple, giving their best. Perfecto up there as well. And then you even get like just a tiny bit more out of someone like Flamey, who has had a very good event here in Beijing. Then this might not be plain sailing for Astralis. It's their map pick and a shot of redemption for the Danes as this pistol round is about to get underway. Simple, the team player as well, dropping the uh, CZ over the Boomage. I imagine he's gonna play towards that B-bomb site. And in fact, Boomage. Yeah, we have three Out of players all there. all the drops, I thought I wouldn't see. <laughs> it's simple dropping a CZ <laughs> to Boomage. Electronic opening the round up with his USP, and Magisk has already gone, wiped out of the round. And so Astralis having to play this one 4v5 right away. Yeah, and the bomb's there as well. Device gets up, but Simple won't let him get much further. And another nade thrown down by Flame. He puts Glaive low. Boomage, he's in ult mid, by the way. He's in the T-apps and done a good bit of damage to Zipnik's running back. Dupree's beaten him to apartments, though. And now Boomage is sort of trapped, but it's still a 4 on 2 after that kill. And not even worth taking this easy. It's low on ammo. Can't find his clock. There it is. He had one bullet left. Not worth. Electronic fighting for the bomb. Dupree does see him as a player up close, but Zip, can he catch him? Electronic jumping back in gets that information and gives it up finally. Not wanting to open a route to that B bomb site with Simple on a flank. And he might drop the bomb yet again. The tag oh. getting out alive is Zip, but he knows Electronic's in middle. Astralis is just trapped. They have nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. They have to fight and they will die in old mid. Na'Vi with a pistol. Yeah, there's something admirable about that long range Glock fight from the bottom of alt mid to the very tippity top. Doesn't happen for Astralis, Navi instead. Whew. And Navi even giving us like a little insight into the time machine, right? Back where Simple used to have to drop IGL stuff all the time. <laughs> well, there it is in the pistol right away. Oh, wow. You love it. Just Glocks <laughs> now for the side of Astralis. They do got this one P250 actually on Dufree, so I'm lying through Liar. my teeth there. Of course you are. Liar. So let's see, Mr. Dupree, P250 and a dream. Some nice gloves to go alongside it. All right, he's flexing us with the knife as well. All right, Dupree, well, come on then. He's got the Navi colors on his gloves. He does, he's an inside man. <laughs> Let's see what he can do with it, Dupree. Gonna need these Glocks to bait the shots so he can wreak havoc with his P250. And I'm hyping this up like something epic's about to happen. It would be cool if it did, but it shouldn't. And so, simple and perfecto. Can I put a lid on things here over at the long side? Ooh. And that's a nice clean round for Na'Vi, 2-0. Astralis, once again, taking this like conservative, you know, not force buying in these second rounds, prioritizing and bringing the rifles out right away. And so now they've got AKs on everyone. A little bit limited in terms of the utility. Oh Third round orb, Harry. Ah. Third round orb. That's exciting though. Yeah, how's he done that? Perfecto dropping it over. Astralis are not gonna be expecting that one. Still a bonus round for Na'Vi, right? So that's the risk you run with this, but Inferno so often seeing saves, but Simple not going for it. He's fighting mid. That's spot Magis. Can't get the kill, though. Astralis have that information. Needs down B2 in the site. Na'Vi read into that A play last round. They pulled four players over. And already they're reading into B. Three players here actually swapping is Boomish and Simple, putting the AWP on the B site. I like that mobile move of the AWP, right? Astralis think it's fighting middle. It is certainly not. It's so a simple, always trying to catch you off guard, but Astralis aren't enticed by the B site. They go back into mid. Two SMGs here, pressure on Electronic in a pit, but we know how good this guy can be. We have some incredible pit players in this server right now on both sides. Imagine it's an Electronic. Yeah. Minute on the clock as Astralis set up. To me, that's one of the most exciting things an opera can have in their repertoire and their arsenal is the ability to be mobile, not just combat opping, but keeping the enemy team guessing. Stratus have guessed right, though. That they have. Glade takes out Flamey and Boomish. Tucked in, gets the SMG Ooh. kills, goes for three, gets three. Electronics able to help, and just one man standing in Zipex. Quite the man to have, but a 1v3, and Boomish has come up next to him. <laughs> There's one. Oh. The flash is good. And that there is the round four Na'Vi locked in. Boomich with a big old sight hold and then like calls for the support from Electronic. Oh man, there's still one more. He's kind of hassling me. I got to get this reload off. Electronic muscles in, deals with him. Good read from Zinix to find that man up on the balcony, but 
ultimately not ready for Perfecto, just rushing through the smoke. And I do love a confident Na'Vi that in like these these 1v3s, they just they, they just try and pressure the, the lone man, right? They don't give him the room to maneuver, to set up to make that 1v2 happen. It's always risky, right? When you're up against it, because you know what he can do. Astralis throw that top B smoke to not only cut off a, a player peeking or an AWP, but also expecting a Molotov likely from Na'Vi. It won't come through until the late round. There's the deep molly, the second one coming through. And now Astralis know that B is lacking util. Good flash. Maz is catching Boomish, but can he hit the spam reload needed? Boomish escapes with his life. Perfecto is still on the site as well. Simple has the AWP in mid and Astralis is still holding out with two players there. Bomb committing B though through the util. Magis goes with the D. And now it's all on Boomich, who might have to just give it up, concede and play for the retake. He's so low. And if Astralis get a five on three with two M4s picked up, that could be their round even on Eco. Device spamming Flamey through with that one AK. And now Na'Vi questioning things. Yeah, the numbers alone are looking like enough for them to save here. Electronic was never even moving and Simple is just holding for one extra kill. Doesn't want to give the AWP away because then it's not really worth it. Especially not with these M4s dropped here, right? Like that's uh, that's like a moth to a flame for Astralis. They want to get their hands on these guns. And so for Simple, that's the decision to just run away. And surely someone's going to try and run T-side. It looks like it might be Glaive. Simple knows that they will want that M4. Uh-oh. Oh, Glaive got the M4, <laughs> but then died to the bomb. Yeah, he ran back so to not to die to Simple's <laughs> all. That's like a literal rock at a hard place. It's like, do I die to the bomb? Do I die to Simple? Went with the bomb, because then yeah. it doesn't affect the stats. Smart. Man like Glaive. That's, still that's what round. He's uh, so intelligent, right? Like they're the kind of mid-second decisions. <laughs> mid-second, of course. Yeah, halfway through the second. You're always halfway through a second, really, if you think about it. Time moves quick. 3-1 for Na'Vi. Astralis on the board with an eco win. They don't have the orb, but it's T-side Inferno. It's not a necessity by any oh. means. Dupree's blind, and he has to move out under inside of the Molotov. He couldn't escape through the top. Perfecto lining up a re-molly at the top of B, but that's a good spam. Du uh, du device, rather, getting tagged up low. Perfecto won't commit with the Molotov. He'll save it for an execute. As Na'Vi have three on B again? Are they swapping? There's no orb here, so looking like they want to stick, but Electronic moves out eventually. Astralis is still on a default. Yeah, man's just taking a fight there towards the coffin player and Boomich. Cool. Boomich brought down a nine. He's just gone 62. And with that smoke out, this fight might have to wait for another day. Okay. Nice read. That will do. Perfecto spams the smoke before they were even on the boost. And in the meantime, Glaive was trying to lurk long, and he got caught by re-aggression as well. So Na'Vi have fallen back into a triple B. But they still have a five on three no matter what happens. Simple staying. Yeah, look at all the look at all these uh these angles over towards the B site. You ain't getting in there. No way. And Astralis don't even want to chance it. They're just saving. They're bowing out of the round. They're getting bullied early on over here on this T side of Inferno, which is certainly worrying. And it feels like it's a culmination of like everything we were talking about that was looking good for Na'Vi, that needed to keep looking good for Na'Vi. And then those little extra bits that we were talking about, this idea of like even getting a tiny bit more mileage out of guys like Boomich and Flamey. And I mean, they've both delivered in that regard. Nothing spectacular yet, but it's still early days. And Boomich's 3KA hold really did make all the difference in that round yeah, just a on. few ago. Yeah, and then on top of that, I mean, we look at a team like Astralis and some of the caliber that they have to offer on this map. I mean, they limited... Mouse Sports is just one T round, one singular round on Mouse Sports T side. But there's never really a question about the CT side of Astralis, but right now, today at least, this T side on overpass was lacking, and that's exactly where they're starting on their map pick as well. Shouldn't be an excuse, but let's see if they can get back into things. Navi with three on B again. Perfecto lining up flashbangs. 
gets the corner. Molly Flamey has to bow out. He has to give it up. Boomich is still here, tucked to the sandbags. And the Molotov Boy. again for Perfecto, assisting with more utility, slows Astralis down, gives Boomich the option to escape, and that he will. He was trapped to sandbags, eating grenades. Astralis with no more damaging utility, smokes and flashes. And Banana Control, sure, but do they really want to be execute? Just off the bat. I wonder if we're going to see any re-aggression around that smoke. We're definitely going to see a B hit. That much. It's almost forecasted for sure. Fecto dumps the smoke. It actually hits Magisk. Magisk makes the corner. Gets all the way to first oranges. Boomage is there to clean up some of this problem. Some of this leak inside of the B-bomb site. Oh, Flamey flashing for the peak. Astralis will turn from it, and now Boomich hung out to dry, but Perfecto and him, they make a convincing case. Wow. My goodness, how is this so dominant? Not a single kill found. This was a 5v5 as they get in, and Device, they find no one. Oh. Everybody dies for Astralis, and Na'Vi keep all five players standing. That is unreal. Boomich with a nice double, flashes back in from Flamey. Simple, open people through the smoke at CT. And some way, shape, or form, Chad Burchill picking Navi to win this series, unlike the rest of us. He gave us a bit of an insight into his prediction strategy today. He couldn't win unless he got both upsets. Phase didn't go well for him. Navi, though, they're doing a damn fine job. This is a terrifying team right now, and certainly one that we could see in the finals. They've got to beat G2 to get there. I mean, they've got to beat Astralis. It's still not a done deal, but 5 1, the foundations are there. The building blocks. Tech nine's out for Astralis. Nades up from the top of Banana. Not gonna do any damage. Like Astralis wanna try their luck on the A site. They start to wrap Glaive already with eyes on the arch. Dumps the smoke. It's a little bit more wiggle room here. Flamey's gonna Ooh. have a drop. If he can get out there, if he can get ahead of the smoke, I say that smoke blooms. He tried to peek, but he was whited by his teammate's flash that just popped in his view. That could have been all the info and even more kills, but Astralis have doubled back to short and it's not even being considered. Simple's looking long, Electronics hiding grave, and Device is selling a B fake. He's dead immediately. Still no one looking short. Magis is in the sight. Now Electronic turns around and Simple and him both pounce with a kill oh. piece. Electronic spammed and Simple to close. Na'Vi ferocious on this A site. And Astralis, even though they caught them looking the wrong way, they get one kill in the round. And this is like, this is like the normal slow Na'Vi style, but like on steroids, man. Like they are not giving you a single fight to the point where Astralis are in the site like, uh, uh, oh, where is everyone? <laughs> and then suddenly in a matter of seconds, all the kills come in. And even in the round prior to that, with the B play from Astralis, where they lose everyone and Na'Vi keep five alive, that was the, a, a kind of similar case, right? Where the site was essentially given up once the utility came in. And then they use a, a few flashes to, you know, give those peaks back over to take a bit of ground back and chip away at Astralis. And it's just really, really nice that like denying the trades right now from Na'Vi, they're not giving anything to the Danes to work with. And so every one of these rounds, it just feels like, you know, you get peaked by everyone all at once. And if you're not winning the majority of those fights, then it's GG. Another buy for Astralis yet again. Had our fair share of Ecos, but full AKs and all the util as well. Na'Vi triple B as they often have been at the start to dump this util. Boomers is fighting, he's peeking, and he's got a great spray for damage onto Magis. Glaive mollying out. He's going to get traded. It is a catastrophe <laughs> on both fronts. Everyone dying to util. Boomers sets him up for success with spam. Magis is still in the round, but he's so low. And Astralis just pulled the brakes. They've lost the bomb. They re-smoke the top of B to go and retake it. Perfecto's not playing for it as the solo B player. And Dupree is watching for Apps Aggression. That's where Electronic is, but he's not overstepping the mark. Now, as long as Electronic stays here, he can make the, the read. He can make the call. The players are up mid, but Dupree's past him. But this should be a free kill here. And it is, but does he know about Dupree? Oh, <laughs> Electronic with the read. Oh, you were going to try and sneak through. Uh, you will have a bit of that. Have a bit of that Molotov. 
And Astralis now are doubting themselves again. And that's something that Na'Vi have been great at. Like Astralis, nothing feels certain. Nothing feels sure. They're not ready to commit to anything because they've got no idea what's going on in this round. And with Utility now coming out over towards short side, they're reconsidering this play. And they also don't know if Electronic could still be hiding somewhere over towards the apartment. So they're having to waste a lot of time clearing this ground. Electronic tucked into the cubby at long isn't going to give this fight over. It's another example of just these restraint plays from Na'Vi. They're three on two. Why would he need to peek? And only now that they get into the site will he give them anything. And it's a nade onto Dupree that finds a lot of damage. Na'Vi set up for, to play the retake with the man advantage. Now Dupree does have a smoke for Moto at least. And so that's hopefully going to buy Astralis some time. Shame they can't get anything else, and Simple's looking to go through. He drops his own smoke at Moto while he's pressuring here. Perfecto and Electronic are working the short side. Dupree, hidden in Graveyard, goes for the swing and deals with Perfecto. Astralis down to the 2v2. Electronic missing the timing, but zindic has been deleted down in the pit. Simple through the Graveyard wall, puts them in a coffin and puts Na'Vi onto seven. This is a big yikes for the side of Astralis, but it appears though we, I don't want to say it's early. We all know, yeah, don't. we all know what happens, but it looks like there's going to be a tech time out here. I think we're going to get a player restarting their internet over there on the Navi side. Mm. You can try hey, everything is up to Are you start. sure there haven't any internet troubles right now? They doesn't appear unreal. so. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, Dupree trying to hide. Ain't no hiding from simple, is there? Man, there's, there's 10 kills on all of Astralis combined. And off the top of my head, I don't know how many any one player has on Na'Vi, but we'll get that in a second when we do cut back to game. Look, we got the fan counts. The fans are out in full force. IEM.GG forward slash fan cam if you want to join all these wonderful people. This is a really scary looking Na'Vi. And Astralis looks scared. Like, you can feel it. The tension is palpable. Yeah, Simple's 9-0, FYI. Yet to die in this map. There you go, 9-0. So Reason. 10 kills on all of Astralis combined. Yeah. I can tell you that they don't have one on Simple. And that's confirmed via the numbers. You can check the maps. Unless this is a tech timeout. I believe it was Perfecto who lagged out, actually. Yeah, Astralis have got to respect this B-hold as well. Na'Vi's util was evidence of that in the previous round, right? Not only Boomage swinging off of his spawn and getting good damage, but the Molly's burning out Glaive, even after he gets one of his own. It was a fair trade. It was a three-on-three -three for Astralis, which shouldn't be awful, but Electronic is just such a little gremlin up in the apartments, catching Magis, stalling things out on the A site, more nades, setting Na'Vi up for the retake, and of course, it's simple, wall-banging players out through Grave to close it out. Na'Vi. Again, more reads and more lovely Counter-Strike from these guys. It really has been a little a little while now since these very, very slow plays from Na'Vi have looked all that convincing. And it feels like they, they've really tried to get that down because Astralis have got no answers to it, none. Nothing has been working. And, and then it means like when, Astral, uh, when Na'Vi rather do occasionally go for these like more aggressive plays, Astralis are always caught, like, not, not looking ready for it at all. You know, thinking back to Overpass, whenever we did finally get those little bits of aggression coming through, be it T-side or CT-side, Astralis were always, you know, especially when they were on their CT half, they were oftentimes holding on to utility, waiting to use it in the late round, and then they would lose it instead in the early round to, to quick fights coming through. Yeah. The only round Astralis have won in this map is them on an eco hitting B, getting two picks and forcing a save on that A site for Na'Vi. Other than that, the B retakes have been great. Think of that five on five B execute where Na'Vi retake it without losing a single man. Some great team flashing going on, not team flashing, but flashing for your teammate back into that B bomb site. Well, some of us prefer to flash the teammates. Yeah, you're pretty good at that. I mean, it's just so easy. And yeah. they wonder why, you know, <laughs> the, the stats for the flashing is, is up there and well, I'm assisting the other team. That's the secret. If you throw it out of spawn as well, it's like free real estate, right? There's nothing they can do. Everyone's there. Oh, yeah. They're back in though. 7 1. And rebuys for Astralis. It's interesting that those odds are still so close. 
It's because it's Astralis. Yeah, right. That's always the fear. Is like, well, you know, they are their seven-one now, but will that hold up? I mean, being real, it kind of looks like it will, but yeah. <laughs> you never know with this Astralis team. Boomich again, he's always in front of the banana. He's always here to fight, but Flamey's throwing nades and that just catches him. Does Boomich really want to give it away? If a five on three comes through, Astralis can run away with the round and they might still. Bomb is in T-spawn, not a common mistake for Astralis as someone will have to go back for that, but they're in no rush. 120 on the clock and they know there's a single B player left up. Pre getting caught in apps. Electronic, he thinks the Lurk is dead now, but Zipix is still here in this position. And Simple doesn't commit to the B rotate despite throwing utility in. He's trying to game Astralis. He knows they're being slow, but the reason they're being slow is because they're getting the bomb. And so Astralis can just group up B and hit it on a one man hold, but they're not convinced either. Minute on the clock, bleeding the round out and waiting for more regression from Navi. Not looking like they're going to get any with Navi entrenched in the bomb sites right now. But as long as Astralis can group up B with this three-man setup and execute, this should be their round. Perfecto, he's been great in this series, but this is going to be something impossible. Yeah, Zip selling this fake as well is huge. Like, he's just making noise. He's just being annoying. And Na'Vi, they do kind of realize pretty quickly now with the execute coming in, they're like, well... It's not A, simple, still sitting there, still waiting, and that's going to leave Electronic and Perfecto to do it all. Perfecto, hidden at the back of the site, tries to go for the spray transfer. Electronic playing to deny the bomb, decides against it. Him and Simple going to move into a retake, two on three. Now, will this be the save? The money is banked up for Na'Vi. Electronic falling on the swing, and that there will be Simple's cue to exit. Astralis with two on the board, and that is one of the first rounds, really, Ooh. where we see some aggression coming through. He's trying to fade them out, and they are leaving early. They are getting out of there early on. <gasps> oh, oh, dear. dear. Simple, don't do it oh, to them. Oh, boy. Don't do it to them. He's oh, got to start running soon, and Device hears it. Simple's got a smoke. He's on the bomb. Surely not. Device needs to spray him off, and he will. <laughs> Astralis get that second. Simple tries to get cheeky with it, but Device puts it to an abrupt end. Respect. Respect for the attempt, right? Nine and oh, he's, he's not even playing for the stats. He's really giving it a go. But uh, yeah, device not falling for that today. And that is huge that Astralis don't, don't let that go on. And you know, they even heard uh, Simple Rotate, right? The players on Banana hear him in CT running very loud speedway. And Astralis think maybe it's too good to be true. And well, it is. Second round taken. Great B kills from Magis uh, coming up Banana early as well. Navi might want to start conceding the top of Banana. Fighting at the corner. Flamey did get caught with nades last time around. That's not something that he looks to repeat. The orbs in apartments for Simple this time around as well. And Magis is waiting B for anyone to give him a pick. Good grenade. He's down low. Flamey leaves after throwing all of his util into this B site. And Perfecto has a flash ready to fight. But Simple double peaked in apartments. Can't pick a target. Dupree with a kill. Electronic re aggressing. And still this B flash ready. At a moment's notice for Boomich, if he hears anything, he's going to call for it. Oh, spam halls. Goodbye, electronic. No flash even helping as Boomich dies to the B fight and Perfecto is stuck at the back of the site. Flamey is about to have a real trial by fire here inside of the A site. He's down in the pit. Won't get checked by the first. Ooh, and the follow-up as well. Down to a two-on-two -two and it's two low players. Oh, no. oh Flamey, another. And now only one man left. Magisk late in through the apartments. Nade on to Flamey. Doesn't even do much damage. And Flamey has been a pillar, a tank in at this site. Bested eventually. Perfecto arriving in the library. And Magisk, 10 seconds. Doesn't get that bomb down. Perfecto. That was a two on five from Na'Vi. Wow. My, oh my, those are not the kind of rounds that often turn against Astralis, not ever. It's Flamey down in the pit, delivering so much, buying time for the rotate from Perfecto. He goes for that second fight and everything's looking a little bit scary, but the moment he domes Glaive, so aware, so ready. And Perfecto 
Perfecto locks it in right at the very end, man. That is filth. That should never happen. Yeah. Look at that celebration, man. Flavy feeling it right now. And that's one of those rounds. If you're like Device, he was up B. He died first to Perfecto. He's thinking, yeah, five on two. I'm going to kill the ro rotate on a lurk. He dies. And then Flamey just lights up the server. What a, what a hold. Where did that come from? Na'Vi not giving anything away to Astralis. And that would have been back-to-back -back rounds, most importantly. That would have been Astralis biting back at the money of Na'Vi, but most importantly, keeping themselves afloat. And right now, they are submerged. They're in deep water. Without a paddle, Na'Vi, 8-2. And the AWP back out for simple. Look at this buy for Astralis. They've got to go for it. It's triple SMG, double AK. Dire state. Poor simple going to go for a peek. Takes a shot, falls off, flash and landed right at his feet. This utility on Banana is relentless. Magisk knows he's not alone and oh! somehow not getting the kill. <laughs> Unfortunate, unlucko. Oh dear, and now they're getting dragged down. Device running right through, finding Flamey and an M4. Arming Astralis. Flamey actually swapped out to an M4 that had less bullets than his own, which <laughs> <laughs> really wasn't the players that turned out. Simple. Oh, oh Dink onto Glaive. He's somehow still alive, but that name bye bye. might seal the deal. Oh, and it will. It just bye. tickles him. Just a little tickle onto Glaive. And he's out of the round. Electronic spraying with the Org. And once again, it's another man advantage for Astralis turned in favor of Na'Vi. Both players for the Danes here. Outside of A, simple, caught on a timing by device. Do they want to commit? Do they want to keep tempting fate with the A play? Electronic here alone. It's him and Perfecto this time. Ooh, Left up against it. Perfecto on the rotate. Has to move in, and already the site's been lost. Sitnik's hiding up in the apartments. Perfecto trying to flash himself in for a peek, but that smoke falling now really does complicate matters, and Device takes him out through it. So it's a great return there from Astralis. It looked like it was another round that was about to get out of hand. Device, the savior that was needed after all. Yeah, wiping sweat off your forehead after that one, right? Like, what a mess up top B, Boomich. One of the classic, you spray a player, you think you've killed them, you look away, but they're still standing. He needed to get traded, even with Simple coming in on a rotate, caught by the long lurker. Astralis. Okay, still in this one, still in for a fight. That was a low money round as well. And now talk about that. Na'Vi have been pushed to pistols, USPs across five. It's a free flowing round that Astralis should never lose. And finding simple first is a good start. Nine and oh, now 10 and four. Boosted up, Perfecto at what? the back of the site. What? He gets to the, dick. the USP is doing a lot of damage, and Magisk is like, "Well, I wouldn't normally run away from free kills, but these ain't free." He's got to go back and get that bomb as well, because the rest of Astralis are in A. Flamey, he gave us a 3K at the A site last time, but not this time with a USP. And right on, because honestly, that would have been ridiculous. Yeah, that would have been a little bit, little bit gross, a little bit much. Uh, nice that Astralis actually doubled back down mid. Uh, Boomish was hunting. He could have caught the bomb in ult as it was late, but Astralis have, have forced him into T-spawn, and now he's taken ult apps instead. He shouldn't get away with this. No armor. Aim punched by Zip, and that's a good fan out for Astralis, right? Not just falling back into A and giving Boomish room. Two things I think are important to mention is even though they full eco that round on the Na'Vi side, they had like two players that were at 1400. And so even with some loss bonus banking up, they they don't have enough to get rifles out on everyone. This is a pretty ghastly buy, all things considered. Uh, and another is that in these last few rounds, it feels like Na'Vi have been taking a few more liberties with the aggression. And I think that's where we've seen the bulk of the problems occur. Namely, this kind of double push that's been coming through from Boomich and whoever's been at B with him. We've had it from him and Flamey in that last rifle round. And he's looking to go aggressive again. And it does feel like, you know, he's given away a few openers here, which is kind of helped Astralis out massively because that was something they were never oh. able to get. Electronic and simple. Doing damage. But it is still a four on four left open to Astralis, who now set up outside of B. Fair bit of damage exchange between them and Perfecto. But ultimately, everything's coming off Astralis for the time being. 
Magic skirts the Molotov with no damage as well. It's a bit deep, and that's given Astralis the sight. Bond trying to cross as well. Boomage spammed, and Perfecto's already out of the round. It's going to be a save for Na'Vi. They know B is lost, and they put up no kills on the defense there either. Astralis see that three-man setup in apartments, right, with a boost in boiler and simple in deep halls, and they just elevate a B take an expectation of, you know, firstly, max two players there. When you've got that guarantee, that's always nice. But then there could also be a long player with how Na'Vi have been fast rotating A. So nice execute for Astralis. Straight on in with the smokes. No hint to Na'Vi. And even checking for ninja spots as well with how this game has been going. I don't blame him. Oh, we saw Simple try to sneak in there once. He might as well cross your T's and dot your I's. Yeah, he dies, though, in a three-man gun save. Like, that's not great for Na'Vi. They're going to have to eco moving forward. They would anyway, because they don't have full loss, so you can see the money. Like, it's not even enough to drop more than Famuses, but they could have bought, you know, five Famuses or five rifles, you know, two of them, three of them being Famuses. Regardless, it's probably an eco anyway for Na'Vi, but it would have been nice to have simple rifled in this round. That's not the case. So pistols... As Astralis build into this T-side, what was a worrying start is coming out just fine near the end for Astralis. And this is more of what you would expect here for Astralis on a map that they're so strong on right now. This would be their 10th win in a row if they can find it. Well, I'll be impressed if they go 88-0. No. I'm just kidding. Oh, that would be impressive. Oh, they saw Dupree, but he sees them as well. And Simple was looking for the trade, but Dupree has already skirted on out of there. Bit of a lull in the action as Astralis wait for re-aggression, and there it is, they get rewarded. And yeah, Navi being backed into a wall right here, backed into a corner. Five alive for Astralis. B is free. Magisk is going to get this info. I'm in. It's clear. And so that bomb on the back of Glaive is already moving in for the for the uh, the rotating towards B. It's going to go down and Navi. And nowhere near. Just going to be a save or in this round. Or is it? I mean, look at these two players from Astralis. Yeah. If they get both of them, then maybe you're enticed to go for it. But even then, you're going to be using a lot of time trying to yeah. flush these players out, right? And they don't even know about them to begin that that kind of line of thinking. Well, yeah. I'm just thinking of the idea of them them saving overall. I mean, it looks like Astralis uh, want to take it away from them right here. They're even coming in from B. Device has gone through spawn. Oh, there's two players with their backs turned. Device with the spray on a double. And that's Astralis finding six flawlessly as well. Yeah, one thing I've noticed from Astralis is, is while the meta is typically, especially when you're hitting B in this map as a T, you're going to have a, a player in apps trying to find that boiler timing, killing the short rotate, killing a long player. Uh, but right now, Astralis, they're often executing B with three and having two lurkers of Zip and Dupree in the apartments, like doubling down on that. So while it is dangerous if your B players don't get the real estate or the frags, uh, it's also kind of nice because Navi, they'll kill one and they won't expect another. It's not played into it too heavily this game, but uh, something to keep in mind for Na'Vi. Device on his first AWP of the map as well, pulling it into the T side. And he's not there for Na'Vi. Little boost up for Simple to get onto the balcony or the porch, wherever he wants to go, it's his. Flamey's crossed all the way along as well. Oh. That's interesting. Simple's going to be drawing them in and Flamey can shut down any commitment. But being real, a lot of these rounds have ended B for Astralis since they started winning. And so that's something that Na'Vi need to figure out. Device shuffling guns out from spawn so we can trade to an AK when needed. Yeah, will this porch setup even matter? We've again got that two-man setup near apartments for Astralis. And three towards B. It has been so good to them. And it does just feel like they're destined to go back to it, right? And Na'Vi with no real utility left over at the B site. They've got one flash on Perfecto, and that is the extent of it. 
they're going to be hard pressed to put a stop to this B play when it comes through. And because of this triple short side setup for Navi, these rotates are going to take a long old while to come through. You don't have that player that's kind of playing arch or long, ready and raring to go on the rotate. Electronic will actually take a peek down through mid and he sees Zipnix running away. So already the kind of pennies drop now for Navi. However, Magisk with the opener, there will be a trade from Boomich. Ideally, he needs a double and is only able to put up one. This B site falls into Danish hands. Dupree trying to go up and over. Bomb plant not denied by Electronic. And Sanavi a man down in the retake. Yeah, Dupree oh. spams him through the ruins as well. He might get a second. Simple tagged up. Dupree going for it. And as far as this is just a formality at this point, a four on two that's getting fed to them. Simple, dangerous game. Flamey gets a smoke spam as it fades. Flashback into Priest Point. There's a chance after all. Navi needs to be quick though. Back in with the retake. It's just on Zip. Hiding in Banana. Flamey with a kit. Taps the bomb. Zip might be forced to spam to spray to pray. But Flamey's gone wide and fired back. Zip knows he's off it. And the time is ticked away. Too dry. It's an Astralis round. And seven at the half. Competitive after all. We've got the culmination to Inferno coming right down the pipeline in just a moment. We get an 8-7 first half and start to see more of the look that we would expect to see from Astralis going into Inferno. Being pushed around a little bit. Navi not backing down. They did pick up overpass. That puts Navi up a map in the series, but 
Astralis want to make sure we go to that third. Welcome back to the Intel Extreme Masters Beijing 2020 online. The European side of things, we're in the quarterfinals. One of these teams dying for a spot, really, trying to take on G2 in the semifinals. We're off of the pistol round. Navi up by one. And Navi was 7-1 up in this map, 8-2, before Astralis started to streak in rounds at the end of the T side. And so momentum right now in favor of Astralis, but Navi on those T sides, they don't care about your speed and pace. They will take it nice and slow. You thought overpass was some slow T rounds. Well, this is the map that really lends them to Navi. Historically great, recent times not so much, but we'll see how it shows up today in the server. Simple on the P250 armor, up banana, into apartments go two. Dupree's deep, and a player in Boiler watching this, Perfecto, which side does he clear? It's the right side, technically the left, but it is correct, and the bomb dropped by Dupree, hunted down, and he doubles up before he finally falls. That was about time. Flamey does get it under wraps, but only one mag left in the CZ. It's a risky move to move into A with that gun. Simple trying to catch the rotates two on long, but the jump burst for Boomage. Zimnix overwhelmed by the double peak, and it's Glaive with a full set of util, but the bomb's going back to B on its own. Oh, they hear Glaive. They hear him coming like a, a bull in a china shop. <laughs> Navi pick up a pistol. And for Dupree, he gets stuck in the fatal funnel. He jumps on his way out. Slick work with the CZ, but jumping in the doorway was his, his oh. demise. The jumping Glock burst headshot. Reasonable. Yeah, that's gonna hurt in the morning. Nice round for Na'Vi. The bomb going back was scary. If Glaive pushed B, that could have been his. And his full set of util goes nowhere in that round. It's Na'Vi with a pistol. They have found three out of four in this series so far. Yep. Four MAC-10s and an AK on simple. The Nada Svensir story. Force for Astralis. Delay play with the smokes, right? Often see the choke points just recycled, but Navi aren't waiting, they aren't respecting, and they're gonna go right through middle. Long smoke instead, that gives Navi the room, but it is always uh, you know, a bait and switch. Navi could be scared of a heavy A side presence with Long being smoked, and so they go back into what was stacked on B. Glaive leaving, does he wanna reconsider that? Cause Navi are looking like they wanna execute soon for a change. And for Astralis at this point, they'd have to clear middle. So Navi re-smoked that arch side. Flamey continues to apply some sort of pressure right here. And those nades down banana for Astralis do nothing, but Glaive could. He still has one. Smoke for Dupree ready to drop, and it will go in. Perfecto commits in front of it. There's no CT smoke down yet, but it does come through, and Astralis is setting up in that position, trying to boost, but they fall. Dupree dead in the sight. Glaive makes it above and does tap out Boomage, but he's traded. Navi keeping things even is fine. Bomb can get planted, and Simple still up with a 1 AK. Ooh, immediate dink onto device. And that might have just quelled any hope at this retake for Astralis. That banana player kind of dead in the water, already conceding. Magisk dropped out of the round and Zimnik's trying to do what he can with the Deagle, but Simple goes up, over, and in to him. As Navi puts head on the board, reaching double digits, the four spike for Astralis does not give over the results they were hoping for. Haven't seen many of these forces from Astralis either. So one of their first attempts at it really doesn't go their way. Yeah, this is a good looking Navi right now. Take notes, boys and grills. Yeah, that was just a, a nice simple round. Even though Astralis had the full smokes, Navi keep him out of middle with the long re-smoke. Makes Astralis, you know, commit to a triple A despite Glaive being B early. And the execute is fine. They trade two for two and then win the round off that. So Navi up to 10, double digits. Astralis, one more eco before the rounds really begin on this CT side. Ooh, device has got a lot of utility and it never even gets used with him dying up in the apartments. Had a smoke and a flash, and that could have maybe been used to waste time off the clock. You know, we know how Na'Vi do play it slow if given the kind of right prompts to do so. 
Any hope of that is now a distant memory. Dupree alone at the A site. And my, oh my, look at that mini map. Dupree has got his, oh, he found one of the, oh. <laughs> oh. He found the smoke. That electronic drops down onto his head. Now, how did it get there? That's my question. Yeah. Like, Device died in the apartments. He was the only dead player. And then there's just a mystery smoke rolling around on the ground. That did really get planted some... there by Electronic earlier on. It was a, uh, a trap. AB. Big smoke theory. You heard of it? Yeah. Big smoke theory. Right now, Strauss needs to theorize something because 11 to 7 is fine, but it could get real bad before it gets better. <laughs> and that's so sad for Dupree. He gets oh, stomped man. on. I, do, I still don't know how it got. It just there. rolled, man. It must have just it rolled. He died at the front of yeah, the apps. It, it really rolled, rolled. All the way and then, like, turned and then fell and then landed in mini pit. Momentum. That's wild. No amount of momentum is getting it there. Right now, though, Na'Vi. Maybe they're the kind of force with enough momentum to make the impossible happen. Ooh, okay. Astralis throw heavy utility banana, and then they just, like, triple rotate. They just move everyone back to A. It's a big gamble. Even just zip here. He does have his full belt still, but that's a, a huge risk for Astralis. However, you've got to pull something out like that eventually if you want to take this map. Glaive moving back loud as well. Bomb in middle. Smoke on the wall into B. The remolly for Astralis, slowing down the pace of Na'Vi. That's fine. I'll sit back and wait. The grenades double down onto Perfecto. He's on 10. I'm just trying to pick. It does spot Glaive pushing him back. Molly on the corner as well. But Astralis now know it's not going to be a quick be execute. They've got a few more seconds to gather their thoughts as Na'Vi set up in middle. Simple to assist in the long play there with that smoke. That's going to block off the vision from Library. Now, no one was ever there for Astralis. Instead, Device is holding the arch. And Electronic with a jiggle. Might have spotted one. Oh, wow. and he's ready for Zipex as well. Out of the round. A man advantage taken for Na'Vi. Splitting in through CT. And suddenly, oh. Device is getting panicky. But they're not even considering it. They, they saw him. They saw him there. And luckily enough, Simple is ready to go to get the trade. Glaive now... Bit of a rough spot. Oh, wow. simple. Just runs him down. And just like that, there's only one man left. A simple trades off the orb just to kill the one B anchor there for Astralis. Like, that's just full confidence. Running round through spawn. Magis, we know he's great in pit, but this is one hell of a hold as Na'Vi hunt him down in the post part. Four players all around. And Electronic, he's taken the AWP, and he's rounded it out with three. Na'Vi up to 12. And terrifying times for Astralis. Four in a row for Na'Vi and another eco before Astralis really have to kick it up a notch or this is going to be them out of the tournament, gone from Beijing and Na'Vi running forward to face G2 in the semis. All the exciting matches in the upper bracket. Rogue Vitality, kind of cool. Complexity big. That one's a bit of a toss up. Yeah, I, this side of the bracket definitely is stacked, right? Like Phase G2, Navi, Astralis. Mm, that's that's nice. That's saucy. The other side, Cole, Big Heroic, Vitality. Definitely some names in there to keep your eyes on. Hard fought for Navi, but they're getting there. They're out long. There's no one here. Dupree's running a rotate. Now watching this position with Glaive, but Navi were ready for a double setup last round. Why wouldn't they be ready again? Ooh, Electronic. Dealing with Dupree. Opens up a vulnerability through the A site, and now Electronic's in the library. This man ain't looking to read books. He's looking to read rounds, and he's ready. Ooh, of all these players in the site, Device got tagged going into the apartment, so they knew he was there. Magis not able to stand the test of time. As if Nick's found so often say, like, oh, he's so good in the clutches, but this 1v4, this is not one of the clutches he's good in, surely. Armed with only a Deagle. Admittedly, nice Deagle. I ain't credit to him for that. But that ain't gonna matter. He's very, very certain that this peak is going to come in from short side. 
never gets delivered. And of course, the moment he looks away, that's when it looked like it was about to come through. Flamey decides, well, I'll do it. There you go. <laughs> Sibnik's caught looking the wrong way. And Na'Vi onto 13. My, oh my, this T side is not slowing down. And as we came into this game saying, right, it, it felt like it was either destined to be a 2-0 for Astralis or a three mapper. I don't think any of us had a 2-0 on the cards because Astralis have been so good on Inferno recently. What was it? Nine win streak yep. Yep. for the Danes. And it might be put to an abrupt end along with their, their lifeline here at IEM Beijing. And those individuals that we talked about, right? We had a great game from Electronic and Perfecto. Simple, obviously looking really good on Overpass. Not that, you know, that's ever a surprise. Well, now we just keep that up. The, the same three looking good. Perfecto's bottom, but he's 10 and 9. And, uh, and Flamey's picked up his feet as well in this game. So Na'Vi, they've just got no weak points. They've got no holes in the armor. Astralis, they need to penetrate something here and now in the CT side. They need to break back as this is their first and maybe or first AWP and, and maybe last if they don't get back on this round. Device with the orb taking a BP. Good luck. Aggressive peak for device. Simple already posted up. Utility's gonna obscure the vision. It's gonna give Glaive time to dump a smoke and banana control now in Astralis' hands, regardless of where the Molotovs come from. You don't just want to peer through that smoke. It'd be a death sentence. Boost device up with an AWP to look down banana. No one's home. Got mid control. You drop a smoke towards Arch. It does land just a little shallow. Luckily, there's no one in that cubby. Classic Astralis setup, right? Device solo B orb. He's looking into the wall to avoid a flash. He could just get peeked straight up, but they're taking their time. Four on A, double long, been read every time by Electronic. And now Device has got to do something dastardly. Oh. Missed shot the first time around. Having to just concede that banana control now. And that's going to force the rotation of Glaive back round to B. Zip even leaning that way through Arch. Oh, they've cleared it. That re-aggression from Glaive, that might be huge, right? Because now they figure out, okay, it's all a fake. Well, Zip's trying to get aggressive over here at Arch, but he gets smoked off. And so they run right by him. Suddenly, all the pressure in the world is on Dupree and Magis. There they are with a double between the two of them. And Dupree keeps on putting up numbers. Blink of an eye, it's all onto Simple. And Astralis, they will come through. With eight on the board, picking up a secondary AWP as well. That might find its way into Dupree's hands. And kills a side, though. That is all Glaive. That entire round is in the hand of Glaive. His push on the smoke on B single-handedly gives Astralis everything they need. Not only did they spot only one long player, and they saw Device got pushed off of B, as you said, Zip was about to rotate. That was about to be Na'Vi wrapping into the A site and maybe even winning the round there and then. But Glaive confirms it's a fake. And Astralis, they stick around, they stick to their guns, and they finally get a CT round. That's their first. Oh. Wave double open, eats a nade. A lot quicker presence here from Navi on Banana this round. which on half simple posted up and for Astralis, they can't really get any closer to this fire. Smoke out from electronic on the tree. Originally, Glaive and Zip were the other way around and that's because Glaive had the flash to enable re-aggression. Instead, he fights close with the orb. And I was wondering if that was going to come back to punish Astralis, but it doesn't. Glaive gets away with the kill and lives Ooh. to tell the tale, albeit briefly. Perfecto wow. waiting to collect that okay. kill, but instead it's Electronic with the double somehow, some way, securing B for Na'Vi and leaving Astralis in a tenuous position, a 3v4. If Dupree sprays this smoke, he was lining up on the right oh. side, but instead it's simple to deal with him, and that solidifies the save. Astralis, they wanted to give that a go, right? That was like one of their only remaining lifelines back into this game, and losing Dupree without anything coming from it forces the save here.
for Device and Magis. Now, at the very, very least, right, if they get away with these two players surviving, they've still got a full buy up against 14. But if even one of them falls, suddenly that is, that is gone. That is kind of thrown into the wind. Especially if Device is the man to go down. Yeah, lovely little no fear BX deck for Na'Vi there, right? Five players just hitting Banana all at the same time. Uh, you know, Astralis, they did great job at getting some T rounds of B at the end. It was often just three or four man executes there, but Na'Vi just full send everyone into the site. Molly's pushed Glaive back, even with the opener on that orb. He gets spammed by Electronic, who follows up with a smoke kill onto Zip at the back of the site. And at that point, yeah, it's, it's a done round unless Astralis get a kill back into the retake, which they do not. Na'Vi even stalled on the bomb plant as the smokes fade, but Simple makes it happen. And now we go one step further, one step closer for Na'Vi, 14 to eight. Final tack for Astralis, using all of them, but to no avail. Big tackle timeout coming in here. Dun, 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 dun. Down to the nitty gritty for Astralis. They're going to have to dig real deep to rally this one back. Fast banana control for Navi. Navi dropping the smokes early. Are they really going to commit this soon? It's almost a mind game in and of itself. Surely they wouldn't. And Astralis makes sure that doesn't happen, forcing out all of the util towards B, or at least a lot of it. Molly's coming down and pushing in his glaive. Full confidence, full flash is uh, Perfecto, rather, but Boomish gets the kill instead. Saves his teammate's life. Good idea there for Astralis, but one player anti-flash. Now it's down to Dupree. Back of the site, great hole, blinded, but he drops the bomb. Re-Molly in for Zip. The nades are flying through for Astralis, and they do do some damage, but Dupree has to swing from the Molotov, and he finds a third headshot. Four on two. Huge behold here for Astralis with the triple setup, and Na'Vi are sent packing. Locked out, locked out. B is closed. Now Electronic and Flamey have to do it all. They could walk CT. They'll dump oh. a smoke there instead. Electronic Pearl Lost is over. And that's that. That was very early for Na'Vi, right? I don't think Astralis were, or, you know, super ready for, for that to be a commitment, but they put up a really nice hold. Dupree blinded on the second shot and even gets a third as the Molly pushes him out. And also great utility for Astralis. As we come to expect, back over the roof of B to shut down Na'Vi on the first approach. Na'Vi might move away from B for now, right? Get the util up there, put a player at top wall, and then just go back to this mid play. Device is open down B. There's a smoke in his face though. We can't see a thing. He's gonna go right through it. Oh, Perfecto sees him. The barrel betraying Device. Bigger ain't always better over towards that B site. And now the man advantage residing with Na'Vi. Over in top mid, they, they get this control to Na'Vi. And from here, like with, with the control they've got, with the pressure they've asserted onto Astralis, this is such a good spot to be in. You're denying that mid info. You are forcing this three man stack to be maintained over towards A. So if they ever did want to change their mind, that B site is pretty damn tantalizing. Flash goes high, they get Zitnix off the angle, and now they open up onto Magis down in the pit. This could be 15 for Na'Vi, unless Dupree does something nasty. He's only good for one. Zipex bested in the library as well, and Glaive is a long way from home. He's trying to save, but look at this. The hunting party has already been dispatched. It's Boomich and Simple. And actually, never mind that, it's everyone from Na'Vi. They are fanning oh. out across this map looking for him. Glaive, they do not want to let you get away with this M4. And talk about a team in Navi that not only is it Astralis joining the server and 
they're on this massive streak of winning, you know, Inferno over and over and over again up to nine. But Navi have come in here and they are making a straw shook. Yeah, again, like pretty concise, pretty dominant right now. They 16 9 the first map. They're on par to do that right here, right now. Astralis have another double orb. This time it's Dupree taking the second. And this is desperate times. Navi, what a great game we're getting from them. This could be one hell of a tournament run. Coming in even through the lower bracket after losing to Cole, who is still here in the playoffs to be seen. Astralis might be seen no longer if this round doesn't go their way. Eight up B, Dupree orping mid. Holding a tight angle, not too wide. Not wanting to give away a pick. Simple is not playing the AWP though. He's back down to the AK. Vice fighting for the corner at B as well. Vice. Oh, going in and Simple. Snuffed out of the round. An opener taken, Astralis. One minuscule step in, in the huge journey that would be this comeback. Still so far to go. But a good start nonetheless. And that can always go a long way. Navi setting up for the B play. Utility reigning in. Zipex. Back of the side device, but the flashes are good. There's the trade for device. However, cancelled out by electronic. And if you've blinked, you've missed it. We're into a three on three. And it's Astralis having to retake. Electronic has had so many entries on his T side. He has just been tearing open B, getting long for free, and now backed up into a post plant. Astralis don't have a kit currently to retake this round. It's all on this. Navi looking for the semi-finals. And just three kills from that very point. Here come Astralis. Do or die. It's everything for the Danes. It's time to put up or shut up. Electronic peeking in from new box. It's off down by Dupree. Flamey might just make this a reality, and they do. Perfecto takes down Dupree. We see this one. Go to Navi. Navi going into the semis.